am going to talk about RTS letter. Um, that's one of the that's one of the strategies that we use um, as investors to send out letters to um, our leads or prospects um, to get response from them to see if they want to sell. So I brought with me two examples of my RTS letters, and I wanted to share with you um, exactly um, what my journey was in the last four months consistently. I've been doing RTS for the past three years, but I'm just sharing what I've been doing for the last four months consistently. Okay, so for the last four months from January to now, um, I was monitoring to see my response rate, um, how many am I getting, how many calls am I getting, um, letters am I getting back or stuff like that. So what I would do is have my VA assign me um, my assistant assigned me tasks to do and then within that week I gave myself a discipline within that week to send those letters out. So we focus mainly on the letters that I have is focused mainly this year was mainly focused on pre foreclosures um, and those that are close to auction. Um, I kind of let the years pass I did probate I did divorce I did all that but this year I just wanted to focus on pre foreclosures to see what my response rate would be for pre foreclosures and so far I can tell you that in a in a week I can get um, five to ten letters back or more it depends because what I have my assistant do is get their address and then I um, send it to that address that I have for them and if it's not registered if it's not the correct address or they moved or they relocated then that letter will come back and when it comes back it says return to sender attempted not known or unable to forward sometimes it won't even say all of that sometimes it will just say you and F in RTS or it will just say RTS on the letter um, so UNF of course means unable to forward and RTS means return to sender. So when they return it back to me, that's when I ask my VA to go back and review um, the address again and review the homeowner's address, their relative's address so that I can send it to the correct address. Sometimes when we do get that, then I resend it again. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update of what it's like to get these letters in the mail how to send them out so for me I do the letters like they say you know just a simple um, hi my name is Yolandi and um, we're looking to purchase your home and I send a little snippet of just my this is just a little you know little something here I gave with my it has my phone number and says that I want to make an offer and it's a simple letter some people their letters are much longer than this okay my letter is short and straight to the point you know this is Ilani Petit I'm a real estate investor I know it's your property and so and so address or so and so area and I would like to help you with it um, with the pre foreclosure proceeding if you can please give me a call back and I sign and then I said PS and then I and, and I add my number and let them know that there's still hope you know some people they get discouraged once they're in a pre foreclosure proceeding they automatically once they're in pre foreclosure they automatically give up so I always like to um, just give a little encouragement at the end of the letter and then I get a lot of responses um, I'm not gonna lie so I want to say um, I get I got a few phone calls back um, I don't have it on top of my head right now but I know it's about five to ten phone calls back and I had uh, surprisingly one letter returned to me with the owner the owner sent my letter and her letter back in the mail to me so that was only one and she told me kindly that she does not want to proceed at this moment that they'll handle it on their own but I just follow up even though when they do that I still follow up with them and I got a um, and sometimes when they call me back, they're either wanting to settle it, they want to handle it, they don't want to go through that pre foreclosure proceeding. And most of the time, they don't want to handle it. They're like, oh, it's no longer mine, I'm done with it, and they're just done. You know, so those people you can't force them because when they say they're done, they're really done because they're frustrated at that point. Um, so, and I have a stack of them 
a stack of these letters that do come back so I just want to let you know to keep in mind if you are thinking of doing um, letters you know mailings to your homeowners get ready for them to come back to you if it's not the correct address it's gonna be costly stamps are the book is $13 um, I bought stamps for me to stamp my letters because I, I felt like it would be like quicker for me. Um, ink, if you're printing it out, think about ink wise, you know, ink could be 40 to 50 bucks. So all of those envelopes, I bought me a box of envelopes to make it easier for me. Um, envelopes are also costly, not too much, but a box could be 10 to $13 that has a thousand in them. So all of these things you need to take in consideration. If you want to just stick to mailings, just get ready for the cost that comes with it. Not saying that you will not get responses, but there is a cost associated and it is not um, a turnaround where you will get a lot of closings from them because most of them, like I said, they want to handle it on their own. So. If you are thinking of doing letterings, think about it twice to know that if you are ready to afford the cost, thing, the cost that is associated with it, okay? So yes, you have to pay for stamps, envelope, ink, paper. You know, I have to buy these things every time that they're that I go out, you know, I have to consistently buy them. Uh, if you're doing it with a service company, then you won't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about paying them to send out your letters for you on a weekly basis or on a daily basis up to you and how much you can afford all right so that's it for uh, my letter mailings I just want to give you an example with the cost that is associated with it and what the terms may mean because I know that when I first started um, a few years back I was like what is this what is UNF what is RTS so I was like you know what? let me share it with you guys just in case you know you're getting into this and you're 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 not sure of what to expect and these are not the things that they share with you you learn as you go you know you will always learn as you go so I just wanted to share that with you um, thank you so much I pray again that you guys follow me on my YouTube page like share and subscribe thank you